previously. That's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Yeah, no one near perfect, but it's good. I like it. So, use the naughty prison, eat the pie, drink the echo, and then chippy chop 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 chew, and things are going to be looking good. If I stand here, I think that's at the correct placement. Where I swing my sword, I should just about reach everything. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, I got hit by my own spike trap there. Ooh, so yeah, we need to flick on these levers when we can, and basically I'm not even going to move for any other treasure that it drops. I mean, I've seen a few more razor pines and stuff, but I'm not going for them. I'm solely focused on these reindeer's bells. Now, because they drop from the Ice Queen, a lot of their drops are off camera, so I may have to leave my little safety space to go and look. Or if they do drop above me, they'll be underneath loads of heads and guts and fish and glow sticks and all sorts, and it might be difficult to see. So I'm going to have to try my best to uh, spot them if they do drop. If they drop and I miss them, I'm going to be absolutely gutted. But, you know, the odds of them dropping are very low. So, overall, we just need to keep our eyes open. And even then, not until wave 15. Honestly thought I had found it and then it turned out it was just another baby Grinch's mischief whistle. I'm just checking the surrounding areas just to see if it is. You know, I never know if it dropped around somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Right, time to go through. <sighs> Anything else in here? Fish. Oh, this sucks! This really sucks! I mean, I don't have a baby Grinch's mischief whistle, I guess, which is, I guess, which is rare. Oh, this is a crack which got. Maybe I should sell this stuff. Also, I, I completely forgot to put on... I completely forgot to put on my, um... Moonstone. Could have helped. <laughs> right, uh, let's... Go home. No sense being here. Right, let's put away this cash money. 
back up to 12 and a half platinum nearly. Nice. We want to put away these hooks. Up to 99 now so we can get rid of those four. Uh, and then the mischief whistle can go in here. Because it's so rare I might as well hold on and have a, a couple of them. But this is looking quite nice with the amount of stuff we've got. Right. So... Let's have a look at how a little area is doing. Look at that. Grass is growing already. Might even be a planter bulb down there. We don't know. But what I want to do is grab up some wiring stuff and set up the actuator system. So that we can uh, get in and out of that spider area nice and easy. And you know, continuously grab up the spider webs. What am I looking for? Wire. That's what I need. Put that in Ammo. I don't think we need that much. I want a lever rather than a pressure plate, so I've taken that. I also forgot to dismiss my crow during the um, during the frost moon. That could have been detrimental too, but I don't think it was affecting us too badly. Yeah, my biggest concern about the reindeer's bells dropping, other than the fact that they might not even be in this, is the fact that I, I'm really, really worried that they're going to drop and I won't see them. And I'll just completely overlook them until they vanish. What the hell is this? There's wire here. I'm guessing there's uh, like a trap here at some point. That I've disarmed. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Right, so where do I want to put it? I guess I want to drop us off here, don't I? So let's stick the wiring just across like that. And then put the actuators in like so. Is it all of them connected? I can't tell. I will throw this lever here, just in case it's on the um, actuated bricks and it'll just pop off by accident. Yeah, that's all of them. Actu oh, it gets really laggy. It does not like me being where these actuated bricks are. That's so laggy. I'm guessing this world is bound to start lagging at some point purely because the amount of crap that I've got in it. Right, this is looking okay. We need to wait for the grass to spread some more. We can also realign those torches at some point. Right, so down here should now be a free walk over to... Get out of it, you. I said, get out of it. I'm trying to put that torch back on. I popped it off because it was on top of some weird thing. So is this. I don't like that. Are you... Oh, I've still got Icor on, don't I? So now I've got free access to this place. Now, because this is a spiderweb sort of base, over time, these spiderweb, these spiderwebs will grow back, which making making it a great place to get them and using them for silk, which is, you know, obviously what we need for the naughty presents. And depending on how much we're going to be fighting the frost moon, we may need a lot of silk. But otherwise, I think that's looking okay. I'm happy with the amount we've got there. We can also kill off these black recluses as well. They have a chance to drop a poison staff, which I guess we just sell for money because we've already got that one. But um, on the PC version, you can actually upgrade the poison staff into a venom staff. So if that update ever comes out on this, we can do that too. Did I never fill this in? Can we have a couple of pieces of stone here? Might as well do that right now. Get out of it, you guys. You suck. Ugh, so laggy. Oh, I was just lagging in general at this point. Get out of it. You're nothing. You mean nothing to me. Okay, so I think the best thing to do right now is sort these torches out. I'm guessing like one in the middle and one on either end. Where is the middle going to be? Let's count this out. <laughs> ah, counting that out is not going to work. Alright, there is 
there's no middle point. But there's 26 blocks in between that. I forget it, I'll just put one on the end of each. It seems to be enough light. We've been in a jungle, I don't imagine we'll need huge amounts of light. In fact, less light is probably beneficial to us because the plantera bulb actually glows in the dark. So let's quickly do this, and what we can do is just stick on. Did you see that up there? I questioned it for a second. It's a mimic. I used to thought, how did I manage to miss the golden treasure chest in the area I dug out, and then I realised it's on the stone brick that I placed. Clearly, it's not a real chest. Let me down! So pop one of these on the end of each. It's just going to tidy this area up. And like I say, over time, this grass will grow in. And I imagine once we've got like a full complement of grass, then the plantera bulb will spawn, because it will spawn... Because it's like 100 or 300 blocks away from the others, whatever it is, it's guaranteed to have one here. And it should grow a new one every day. So it should be due. The only question is, does it grow on grass? Or does it replace one of these? So should I be chopping those down to make room? Or will it like transform that? Or will it... Does it not matter? And then... Yeah, sure, let's, let's dig up these things. Get out of my life. Yeah, this, there's certain areas in this world now that get very laggy. Oh, you guys. Come on, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Who do you think you are? I have no idea who you guys think you are. Alright, so this is their look. Just gotta wait for that to grow in. And that's done. We can always drop down to the spider every place with that. I'm very happy with how this has turned out now. It's all dug away from the rest. As much like this area, it's not going to spread. It never would, but, you know, for RP purposes, that's done that. I've also made sure it is in the underground, not just underground. It's like, you see the transition from brown to grey? I think it needs to be in brown to grey to be uh, where Plantera Bulb spawn. Right, let's take me out of this place. Pop away the nonsense that we've got. And we do actually have a couple of things to do. And one of the things I want to get done in a second is craft up some battle potions. Uh, I used all the battle potions we had during the... Uh, whatever it's called. Solar Eclipse that we had. And I don't have any more. And I've never really crafted any, but we can craft them up. Now, you might be thinking, if battle potions increase the amount of enemies that will appear, why don't we use them during the Frost Moon to get more kills? Well, it doesn't affect events. Same with water candles, you know, the blue candles that cause more enemies to spawn. They won't work on things like um, Frost Moons and Pumpkin Moons and uh, Goblin Invasions and Pirate Invasions and stuff like that. It doesn't work. It only works on regular things, and I think, like a Blood Moon and a Solar Eclipse, it should work on. Right, so we've got our little crafting bench here. Now we're going to need bottles of water, I imagine. So let's take those out. And I don't know what the ingredients are, so let's have a look in potions. It's right here, look. We need deaf weed and either vertebrae or rotten chunks. I have everything I need on me, surprisingly, from what I've been killing down there. So let's get some deaf weed out in my ingredients chest. Now luckily we've been filling up on loads of these, so we'll take a like as many as we need. 30, and Rotten Chunks, again, we have a lot of them. I think they're in here. There we go, look at this. Ooh. Take out 30 of them. Like so. And then we can fly back up over here, in this place. And then our little bench here, look, it's got a little bottle on it. That turns it into an alchemy station for crafting potions. So we can now craft up 30... Battle potions. Perfect. So let's put these in here for now. They will come in handy in the future for stuff. Now, I actually want to go ahead and get some more bottles of water. Now, glass bottles only stack up to 99. Bottles of water only up to 30. 
So I want to keep a stack of 99 bottles in there. So we might as well just get some glass out, craft up 30 bottles, and then go fill them with water. Now, I don't remember the recipe. One piece of glass is two bottles. Uh, how do I... Oh, like that. Oh, crap, I made 52. I'm going to throw them away. <laughs> That's such a waste, but I don't want them. They're just going to take up inventory space. My inventory space is valuable. Why do you think I've been building other places like wing storage? It's... I've got too much stuff and not enough places to put it.